Hola, 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 hola. It's me, the Village Princess, and I'm back with another video. And this time I'm doing something a little bit different. We're going to be having a story moment. I'll be telling you guys a story, and I hope you like it. But before we get to the story, let's like, subscribe, and comment. I would love to see your comments. I would like to know what you think about my videos because I would like to improve every time and if you guys give me a feedback yes i can improve because i'm still learning and i to get there i everybody needs help at some point in life and i would love if you guys could help me okay let's go to the story hmm. i hope you guys like this because it was in the story about the time of my life when i got played like i got played well 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 like played <laughs> i had to finish my education at night because i had a child at a young age i did some adult things i did some and i had a mm -hmm. and then came a baby and for that reason my parents they were like mama you want to be an adult you want to do adult things you need to go back to school you need to take care of your life and your child and everything and to do how adults uh, do things the way adults do and then that's what made me go to school at night because i had to work in daytime but that's a story for another day let's put that aside fast forward I started going, I was, that happened when I was in grade 11 because I went, I had to do grade 9, 10 because I fell pregnant. I was in the middle of grade 9 and I had to repeat grade 9, 10, 11, 12. But on grade 11, I met this guy. He was the cutie of the moment because the guy was a model. He was on TV. He was on the pamphlets. Like when you drive and you see these pamphlets, Mr. Mm -hmm. Let's give him a name. Let's call him Mr. Fantastic. Mr. Fantastic, yes. He was Mr. Fantastic. Okay, how did I meet Mr. Fantastic? Mr. Fantastic was the talk of the school, ne? Uh, evening school where there's lots, all, lots of older people and young people because, like, you know, when there's no much, uh, there's less schools and there's lots of students and then even young kids, they end up studying at night. But that's... The, I was one of the younger ones. Now, one day I go to the canteen. Remember that I'm working in daytime. I didn't tell you I was working in a clothing shop at the time. And then after work, I had, I had to go to school. But that day I came from work. I was hungry. I had a little bit of money, put my things in class, and I go to the canteen and I order an egg sandwich and a Fanta. Hey! Fanta, fantastic. <laughs> An egg sandwich. They used to like put the egg. I think they used to add water or whatever to make it big. And then it became like a, a pancake, like a pizza. And then they will cut, 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 cut and put it on the bread. The bread is like, you know, I don't know if you know the Italian baguette, the, the, the bread. Yes, they opened the, the, uh, they put the egg. Yes, I ordered that. But and then I look, I see Mr fantastic is there chilling with some girls they are talking being loud and everything but at the time i used to be shy i used to be like i was already okay one thing that i forgot to say i was a model too but i was like low rank model i was still you know everything was new for me i was i i grew up in the village and then i came to the city this was happening in the city by the way and i was still a little bit shy Mr. Fantastic comes towards me. He's like, hi, hi. How are you? I'm good. Can you buy me a sandwich? And then I, on the inside, I'm like, who is Mr. Fantastic asking me for a sandwich? Because every girl in school was talking about him. You things are getting dry. Let me have a sip of... Yeah. Then I was like, okay. He's asking me for a sandwich. I'm talking for myself and with myself. I told the lady, can you make it two, please? Thank God I had some money that day. I got him a sandwich. I got, but I didn't get him a Fanta. Né? I just got him a sandwich and a Fanta. And then we finish, we eat, and we're talking. And he's asking my name. I asked for his name, but of course I knew his name already. Everybody knew his name. Then he walks me back to my class. I had some work to finish. And yeah, the next day, same thing. We meet in the canteen. We are chatting. He's walking me to my class and everything. The third day, if I'm not wrong. 
few days, things were happening very quick. Mr. Fantastic asked me, do you have a boyfriend? And I said, no, I don't. He asked, and then I asked, do you have a boyfriend, a girlfriend? Sorry. He says, no, I don't have it. And then he goes, since I don't have a girlfriend, you don't have a boyfriend. From now on, we are dating. Hey, <laughs> you should have seen the girls, the girl, this one growing wings. I'm thinking, instead of thinking of thinking about me and him in a relation thing, I'm thinking about the girls that they're after him and they don't have him, thinking that I've hit a jackpot, not knowing girl. <laughs> okay. Then things go when it started happening, but that was a very quick relationship. It didn't last. I don't think even it lasted two months. But anyway, it, the pattern started becoming the same. I go to the cantina, buy him a sandwich and blah, blah, blah. I think on the course of those two months, maybe paid like three times. Then one day, how did this happen? Yes, one day I finished work late because we are doing an inventory like in a clothing shop, counting the stock and everything. I came to school late and there was a problem with the electricity that day in the, some corridors they had electricity some they didn't have then i'm coming in and i overhear his voice and the way where i was coming from it was quite dark I overhear his voice and i'm like oh okay there's bomba <laughs> fantastic this fantastic but i don't know why something just made me like instead of going quick faster i just started going much slower and I just overhear the, a girl saying, leave me alone, you have a girlfriend. Then the other girl, and then he says, me, I don't have a girlfriend. Then the other girl goes, of course you do. You're dating the girl, that girl. And then he goes, which girl? Then she goes, the tall, skinny one, the one with the child. It's like me dating a woman with a child. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't date. I'll never date a woman with a child. I'm listening. I am listening to all of that. I was like, wow. I cannot believe this. But guys, the funny part of this, I'm even embarrassed until today because I don't know what made me do that that day. Instead of me walking forward and confront Mr. Fantastic, trying to understand what the hell are you talking about because we're supposed to be dating. I've been spending my money on you. No. You know, I don't know you guys, ne? that invisible tail <laughs> that they, it appeared, the one from the cartoons <laughs> between my legs. I started walking backwards, like backwards and then i went around the other corridor just to go to my class which i could have easily gone there like one minute two minutes i would been there it took the long way around because i didn't want them to see me or him or them to see me they're the ones who are talking shit about me but i'm the one who's feeling bad for them to see me i went to my class and i'm there and they're all grumpy <laughs> feeling sorry for myself I don't think that day he came I, I don't really remember if he came that day or the next day but the funny part of the story is that when he came there he is he's like where have you been i came here i've been looking for you and i could i never found you but anyway how are you i'm like i'm fine he's like can you buy me a cigarette i was like what yeah, can you give me five rand? I just want to buy a cigarette. I'm like, I don't have... Wait, man. This story is the other way around. The cigarette story was before... Sorry, sorry. So I'm making confusion. The cigarette story was before I had that part because I went to his class like maybe four days in a row. I didn't find him. Yes, but and then when he came to my class, after four days of not finding him, is when he came to ask for money for cigarette and he tells me that he only wants five rand and then i told him that i didn't have five rand and then he tells me only five rand but the way he said it in a very demanding way and me dumb who is in love meanwhile i was in lust and it wasn't even lust it was just because i wanted to show the other girls that i am with the eat bombastic fantastic I went to my bag, I got the five rand, which was supposed to be for the next day sandwich. I gave it to him. 
he went and he bought his cigarette and then after that is when it happened that i come and then i overhear him saying that like the next day that's how i was i felt so used i was so disappointed and so so angry and then like I, I was avoiding him a few times but and then one day and then I, I went to tell i went to tell my girls at work that this and this happened and then one of the girls my heart of soul rest in peace she passed away a few years back yeah but the girl at the time she was like girl no 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 this is not happening to you because shame they really love they they loved my my son was like the nephew of the the shop they, they they were like the aunties we are like a family we were four girls working in one shop for it and we used to get along by the way because it doesn't happen often that girls together they get along we used to get along until today i'm still friends with some of them yes she took out like let's say something like 50 bucks 50 rand she gives to me she's like oh tomorrow you're not buying an egg sandwich tomorrow you're buying a burger and a fanta or a juice or something and you're gonna even if it's there you're not giving to him you're eating by yourself you're not buying egg you're not sharing you're buying for yourself and then after that you break up with him he needs to learn a lesson and that's it i went and i bought my burger guys i didn't even manage to finish that burger <laughs> i didn't finish it because i was so you know what like i know i'm doing something to show the girls that yeah i have the money and i can do it the money that she gave me to do the the project and then at the same time i'm with mr fantastic who is like trying to be cute, trying to, to, to make it up to be because he, he's, but the funny thing, he didn't know what happens yet. And then I, after I put the, the, and the napkin, I put everything. We are walking towards my class and I told him that I don't want him to walk me to class because then I told him, actually, one thing I have to tell you, we are done. I overheard you telling to the girls that I was not your girlfriend, I'm your sugar mama, and I'm too young to be anybody's sugar mama. If I'm going to be anybody's sugar mama, I'll be my child's sugar mama. We are done. Kla, finished. Me and you from now on, just schoolmates, colleagues, nothing else. And that's how my story ends, Mr. Fantastic. Oh, no, 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 no. How can I end the story like this? One of my girls from the shop, she took, took up on herself to investigate Mr. Fantastic. She found out that he was still living at home with his mom and his two brothers and sister, and he was sharing a room with his brother or with his brothers, I don't know. But this story, it wasn't me who investigated, it was the girls. And he... The motto of the story is this, Mr. Eat Man, which the, all the girls they were after because he used to dress nicely and he, he had the presence. Ne? He was like, <laughs> and he was smoking. Meanwhile, mommy's boy staying home with mama, papa, and family. Broke, 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 broke. That is like there's no tomorrow. And me damn me the sugar mama early 20s i was already called the sugar mama that's why i became the mama that i am today because i was already a mama on my early 20s <laughs> thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe and like my videos and please write some comments and suggest some other type of videos that you'd like to see from me Big kiss, lots of love from me, the village princess. Don't forget to wash your hands and sanitize and stay home.